Karabo Mutume is a rising star who is determined to take the entertainment industry by storm. Known as K9 Star, his music career kicked off in 2008 where he started as a house DJ. He was shy and he needed a way into the industry and so DJing helped him to overcome his stage fright. Knowing which direction he was going, he later in 2014 entered the hip-hop scene where his focus had always been initially. Well, K9 Star now joins us to tell us more about his music journey. Welcome Welcome to Morning Live. It's so great to have you on the show. Thank you for having me. Stage fright, we're not. Stage fright. And you uh, perform like that. It's crazy, I know, right? It took a lot of practice. It okay. took a lot of practice. Um, I must say, man, um, this DJing thing actually helped me out. It was a struggle. I really, I was, I'm actually a shy person. I'm an introvert. So it was, it was, it was a hell of a thing for me, man. Jeez. Okay. And the name K9 Star, totally interesting. So out of the box. Uh, what is it all about? Is there any significance to the name? What's to the name? The name was given to me back in the hood in Kimberley, where, where I grew up, born and bred. Shout out to Kimberley, man. Um, guys gave me the name because, you know, we used to dance back in the days. So that's how the name came about. Um, Star is just about shining, basically, you know. Shining so like the star that has you to are. shine. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like that. Now, you've opened up uh, stages for the likes of Black Coffee, Casper uh, Nyoves, Black Motion. You've really had an opportunity to rub shoulders with some of the best talents that we've got to showcase in, in, in this country. Uh, what, what was that like for you? It was an honor because it was never a thing of me having to call someone to ask for an opportunity. I've, I've always been fortunate enough to have people spotting me elsewhere and linking up for me to, you know, to, to open up for them. For, I mean, in, in 2000 and, uh, 2013, I opened up for Kenny Letty Moore. Yes. I mean, I was the only artist, hip-hop artist for that matter. So it's, 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 it's really an honor. Really you really had an exciting journey um, and I know that one of the things you're, you're really big into is inspiring the youth of our, of our country. Um, tell us about um, how you do that through your music, the lyrics, the message um, that is in your songs. Look man, we can't deny the fact that the youth are so into music, it's crazy. So I use my music as a tool to convey the message. Understand? I've got a I've got an initiative called Invade Khalishiwe. I was born in Khalishiwe back in Kimberley, so I started the whole thing Invade Khalishiwe, where I go to schools, motivate, um, take on take on certain tasks that people are afraid of. You know, so yeah, that's basically it. All I do. I've, I mean, I've got a great responsibility, you know, to give hope to that one child back in Kimberley who was told, if you're from Kimberley, you won't be able to make it. Indeed. I mean, you know, Indeed. look at me. Well, let's talk about your album. Are you currently working on something? Who are you cooking it with? And when can your fans expect to release? Um, we're looking at September. Um, the album will be called Seven Colors because it's, <laughs> it's a variety of er everything. Basically. Everything tasty, Pella. When exactly. I think Seven Colors, I think, you know, good Sunday exactly, plate. Exactly, Sunday plate. You know, you know it's that's exactly what I'm, you love. Exactly. That's exactly what I'm planning on dishing out. Um, Pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'm working with I'm working with Maximum Styles. Uh, I'm working with Sino you know, the Neck Breaker. I've got Tori Mac from Morafi. Um, I did a, did a did a song with Saifo, uh, Sipongwinya. Yeah, man. So I've it's, it's it's bound to be epic. I certainly look forward to that. Just to go back now to uh, uh, something that happened to you recently. You were attacked and stabbed. I mean, a horrific incident to to have happened. Um, did that teach you something? Did that remind you of maybe um, things you had forgotten? Um, what went through your mind when you were going through that experience? And did it make you want to come out harder and do everything that you do to your absolute best, knowing that life is, is so short and could be sniffed out from you just like that? No, the fact that I was given a second chance is something else. You know, I mean, not a lot of people can live to tell the tale. So now I'm just going all out, you know. I've I've never I've never actually been a scared person, you know. So now I'm actually I feel like I feel like a superhero right now, you know. <laughs> but I've I've opened my eyes. I've realized how I've realized how how we need to appreciate people more. You understand? I mean, uh, what happened to me taught me that you might you might not tell your mom how much you love her today, and she might wake up no more tomorrow. You understand? So I'm just appreciating life every day, mm -hmm. every day. And that's a, that's a beautiful thing about life. We really thing. need to live it, um, you know, and, and fulfill all our dreams while we're still here. How can people connect with you? How can people book you? Um, and yeah, how can people show you love? 
Uh, catch me on, on Twitter. It's K9 Star underscore, no, K9 underscore Star. And then on Instagram, it's just K9 Star. And then on Facebook, it's K9 Star underscore SA. Okay, yes, fantastic. And then you can, if you want to contact me, contact Zeno the Neck Breaker. He's on all platforms, your Twitter, your Facebook, your Instagrams. He's the guy to contact if you want me on stage. K9 Star, I absolutely love what you do. I love your performances. I'm looking forward to more. What's your haircut called, by the way? It's called the Star Fresh. It's so fresh. Thank you so much. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. So that's Karabo uh, Motome, or K9 Star, sharing more on his music career and what he's got planned in the near future. We'll be hearing more of his sounds after the break. Stay with us. <laughs> They should have known they could have never had